Tori at Day 2 at the Tori and Pro. This is a pretty cool event, hey, because I guess you and me have been in a lot of events that are like in the CrossFit Games. Yep. Or a qualifier for the CrossFit Games. Yeah, yeah. This is neither of those things, but it's got, the, it's got a nice atmosphere about it. Well, I was just saying to Jeremy Austin, it's got like the professionalism of a lot of those events where they're going to send the athlete to the CrossFit Games. There's a lot of things at stake, but here there's a kind of a mellow vibe, right? Mm. Of course, competitive athletes want to win. So they're, they're gunning for it. But at the end of the day, there's, there's really so much more camaraderie here, it seems like. There's, there's a little bit more of a laid back atmosphere. Yeah. Now, we stepped that up because Rich is here and we've sure. got, you know, Tia Claire Toomey's in the house. Uh, but that's what I've noticed is everybody just seems to be having a little bit more fun. Yeah, I like it. Um, you've been to Australia twice now, I believe. You're here for the Invitational. Have you, have you been here before that as well? Or? Uh, hey, listen, when I was like real little, okay. my mom actually brought me out here, got to do the whole family vacation thing. Um, but yeah, in, in professionally, I've been here probably four or five times but you know how it is with seminars. You're in on Friday, you're sure. out on Sunday. So I haven't gotten to enjoy it as much as I have on this trip. Um, uh, you've seen so many different communities in CrossFit. And yep. uh, does it ever cease to amaze you about like what all the communities are like and how much support there is for all the different athletes? Does it, no, it never ceases to amaze me. Um, yeah, just gen people genuinely, and I think it's like when you have a guest, right? Sure. You want to show them a good time. You want to, hey, look how cool my thing is. And uh, no, I, all, all the Australians, have they totally live up to the stereotypes yeah super friendly super outgoing you know yeah. i just find uh, people to be ridiculously welcoming so uh no it never does cease to amaze me it's one of the beautiful most beautiful things right yeah you can go to a different <clears throat> here you speak english you can go to a country where you don't yep and although we're crossfit has kind of got a little bit of a common language it brings us together now dude we see you pop up at events like this yeah. every now and then at open announcements yeah. sanctionals um what's on the cards for you for the for the rest of the <laughs> season where can we expect to see you because we, we love seeing you yes I, I thank you i've got some really really exciting stuff coming up with Noble okay. and be, uh, becoming part of their team. And so I'll be doing some events, uh, mostly uh, mostly domestic, but we'll do a couple international events as well. Make some announcements about that soon. Most uh, closest in proximity to where we are now, the we're hosting a, a fest film festival. Okay. So the Noble Film Festival is going to be in Brooklyn on the 23rd of November. Awesome. Uh, so that's going to be it. And then, yeah, trying to pick and choose a, a little bit less crazy on the travel than I was last sure, year. Sure, sure. You can appreciate that. Yep. Um, but yeah, th these events, they're just like, it's impossible to replicate this kind of energy. It's impossible to uh, to not love it while you're here. So um, trying to see where, where I can fit into that. Absolutely. Before I let you go, I'm going to throw yeah. under the bus a little bit. Do it. Um, <laughs> I, mean, you, I would expect nothing less. <laughs> yeah. You and me, I guess, we've, we've seen a lot of competitive CrossFit. Yeah. Can you see a changing of the guard at all this year? Or is it going to be Fraser and Toomey again? Because it, uh, I haven't yeah. seen anything like this in the decade I've, I've been watching competitive CrossFit. I can't imagine you have either. No, I think it's when, like, like when Rich was at the top of his game. Yep. There was, there was them and everyone else. And you see that in the point differential, too. Yeah. It's just... It's bananas yeah right uh, and you see it even with Tia Claire who's like well I'm not really fit right now I'm not really training right now yet she's fourth in the world in the open going into this event it's just yeah. uh, that I do think that she and Matt are on a completely different level I agree having said that uh, look Noah Olsen it's not a changing of the guard but it is certainly a changing of what we're used to sure um, but I haven't just I just haven't seen that new name that's why I kept on getting so excited about Rob Forte's partner Jay yeah. I'm like hey man give me something young give me some young blood who's going to come in here and mix things up it sort of feels like it almost has to be like Fraser and Toomey were which is out of the blue yeah. um, because I don't know if someone we know can do it it right. almost needs to be someone we don't know yeah and, and honestly like so the national champions thing is cool but even still they're on your radar not we've yet. got five weeks of the open and we're like you, you're going to pick one of them out if they're that good yes and uh yeah so far no one's there yet cool dude we love having you in australia we hope you're having a good time and can't wait to have you back love to be here bro thank Cheers. you thank you